Hello, I'm Koelpuri Roche and I'm here in Hokkaido, one of the northern regions of Japan. Take a look around. This is not the usual Japan you see or imagine. Get ready to be introduced to a winter wonderland. There is a zen stillness to the air, and walking through the immaculate whiteness of the snow can be rather peaceful. delight because there are not that many people and the snow is soft not hard like Europe but if you don't ski there's still plenty of other activities you can indulge in So there are lots of Indian restaurants in all of Hokkaido, in fact in all of Japan. But while I'm here, I'm only eating Japanese food. And there's a whole variety of cuisines within Japanese food. Today, for the first time, I'm trying something called the soup curry, which is a speciality of Sapporo, which is the city in Hokkaido. Now, I've been told there's a way to eat it. Now, Indians would normally put the soup or the curry in the rice, but that is a complete no-no here. You can put the rice in the curry or eat it separately. So I'm just going to eat it separately and see. Okay, it's not as spicy as we're used to, um, but it has a lot of flavor. It has a lot of different, different spices. Um, it could pass off maybe as a mild Indian curry. I have to say it's really, really um, rich in its um, taste and it's full of fresh vegetables. And in a cold, snowy day like this, this is what you want to be eating. If you want to time travel in Hokkaido, then come to the historical village. It's huge, it's spread over 54 acres, and walking through it will take you back a hundred years. This village can only be experienced in the winter. Here, the temperature stays around minus 20 degrees. This low temperature gives the village a magical atmosphere. Sapporo Snow Festival, one of the winter events in Japan, has more people visiting from home and abroad every year. Sapporo turns into a world of ice and snow sculptures. I've shown you a lot of Hokkaido, but it's only a tip of the iceberg, no pun intended. There's a lot to do and see, and I hope you'll come yourself to discover. I myself have been to Hokkaido several times, because in Japan, once is never enough.